Now wikis are one of the coolest features you can add on the uh, Ultranet. Um, many people have used them in places like Wikipedia or uh, Wikispaces to create their own content or content with others or um, even Wikipedia for instance you've got content created by many users across the whole world so that's the uh, main purpose of wiki it's not for you to create content though you can do that but it's for you and your colleagues or students to actually um, co-create material that um, is be able to be shared and looked at uh, and developed further over a period of time now I've already already added this via add applications and then grab the wiki uh, if you're not sure where that is I'll just show you again um, add applications the little box comes up and it's not in content management uh, this time it's actually in uh, the collaboration box uh, there and you can see it's grayed out because I've already dragged it onto the screen you can only have one wiki on a page um, but you can actually display portions of that wiki on the same page or on other pages that you've created um, so I'll just quickly show you how to use it the simplest way if you're only doing one wiki for your whole uh, your whole space uh, you're pretty much ready to go if you're wanting to have a wiki on several different pages, you might have a page for biology or or or, sci or geography or geology, whatever, in a particular year level, and you wanted to have a wiki where the kids were creating some interesting pages about animals or adaptations or different uh, ecosystems, um, and you wanted to have a different wiki, you'd need to set that up properly at the start, um, and I'll show you that secondly. But if you're just doing one wiki for your whole um, site, you'll see it comes up this page is empty well uh, edit it and add some text so away we go we click on that and up comes the normal dialog box uh, for editing content which you should be familiar with um, let's give it a moment to load here now the main advantages of a wiki over um, publish publishing with um, the other things is that anyone can can edit it and contribute um, people can rate posts. They can, you can also create sub pages, uh, which uh, then link through automatically link to one another. So it's really good to be able to create like a, a continually improving website. Um, definitely have a look at w Wikipedia if you haven't. Um, that will give you an idea of actually how it works. So here we could just create. This is a wiki. Oh, I made a mistake. A wiki for staff to create and edit their own pages together have fun that's the whole point of technology is to have fun learning oh I'm not doing very well tonight learning with technology I could add some tags about what it's about which I'm not going to do and I'm just going to click save you can also click preview which shows you what it will look like before you commit to the change But if you have made a change you can actually come back and edit it by clicking here uh, and fiddle around with other settings by the details you can also print the contents just of your wiki um, and this is what everybody will see this will be pretty much the same for everyone um, they may not have some of these settings here but mostly it'll be the same uh, and they'll be able to click in here and edit and edit that if they want to a teacher can come in uh, and edit this or click and add a page let's just add a page and let's just say this is a t this is a page come on a page for my year five Ooh. my year five students and I could again add content again I can add text here is some text. Here is us some text. No, let's do it in English. Here is some text. Uh, we could add a photograph, as I've shown you in some previous things. But just in case you haven't watched them, um, click on the photo icon here. Brings up this dialog box. There's no image currently selected, so click browse, which will bring up the box for content. Again, there's nothing currently loaded into this community area. Um, I could search all images or upload an image currently I'm just going to search all images that are already uploaded on the ultranet um, and available for use without copyright problems and use JPEG JPG for, for JPEG which is a common image format see what's out there and here we go uh, I'm going to select 
a photo you can see the size over here shows how big they are really big files are going to load really slowly um, and they're high quality though so um, you, if you really want to you can use them but I'd be looking for things that are smaller in size for instance that one there this is a teacher page so let's just uh, actually it was a year five page so where's something that's more interesting okay there's a frog there I'm just going to select that frog I'm going to, it's actually quite large the size I'm going to reduce that to about say 600 uh, pixels wide by and automatically adjusts the height and click OK and there goes the picture so the teacher could create that page or a student could start to create that page another key thing uh, to note or to use is tables for layout uh, well, you can add a table by clicking the add table here and you can determine how many rows and columns and how wide it is I usually go by percent a hundred percent instead of pixels and click OK and this allows you to actually lay out your page it's not very easy to lay out things once you've got a table you could probably copy that into the table that's probably too big the image so I could resize it just like that uh, it was in there but um, you can see I've actually lost those other it's very difficult to find the other um, columns they get sort of um, or they get squished up on the right so I'm going to go back a bit and uh, edit oh, maybe I should go forward again but anyway just going back to a table forget that picture I'm just going to again go 100% wide here click OK and it's a good idea to put a little bit of text in each of the columns just so that it doesn't disappear uh, and then over there now I know I'm not going to lose those two columns uh, and I can come back and type what I really want to what I really wanted to um, this is uh, animals here and over here I might put photo photo and so your students could actually do write about the animal frogs are and you have to obviously give them some instructions frogs are great I like them many are endangered okay and over here we want to insert the photo so I'll go back to that photo box again and browse and it's thinking the alternate is very good at thinking all right and I'm again gonna click search on all images JPG search I'm gonna find that frog again and put it on there shouldn't take long so here we go again it's a quite a large photo when you upload photos you probably don't want them to be as big as that um, let's find that frog there it is so select and I'm gonna make it with quite a bit smaller this time so I'm only going to make it about ooh, 200 wide, about a tenth the size. That is approximately the size it'll be on screen, I hope. So let's click OK and have a look. Yep, same size on screen. Uh, and then I'm going to click Save down the bottom. Uh, you'll notice those buttons come up if you don't scroll all the way down to the page on a, on a um, notebook, but usually on a bigger screen, they're right out of the road. So click save and it should take us back. And this is what it looks like. We're back to our main page. It says it's been processed. Um, and this is the page that a teacher would have created or a student. And these will all come listed here. Or you might have this page is for all your year fives and this is for your, um, another class or it's up to you how you organize it. I'll click on that page. And you can see it still opens in the same space and the same wiki space. Um, and there we have uh, using the table to actually lay out things a bit better. So here, you know, the students could include information here, or you could actually have a question up here that they have to answer with a photo and, and explain what's in there. There's a range of things you could do. Uh, but the students can come in and work in teams on this, so they could um, have a range of questions and photos they have to add. 
you could lay this out in different things and have students filling in different boxes um, so it's really open to a lot of collaboration it's great fun to use really easy and um, it means that you can actually get students to create content that other students read and rate uh, rather than um, you having to do it yourself as you can see there's a rating here so students could actually rate if they each had their own page they could be rating this um, as like a form of sort of um, feedback to the students about what they thought or they could comment on the particular page that this group of year five students made um, so that's actually a really great way for students to collaborate and learn together uh, pretty much that's all I will need to show you today so thanks for listening see you next time